and welcome to your go live market update on charts today for today the 3rd of april 2023 mike smith go market senior analyst okay across the news wires we had a positive session in the us on friday as last week's rally continued right to the end of the week confirming major indices are through technical levels ndx is around about seven month highs the s p 500 is comfortably through 4000 and the 200 ema opec surprised the market by cutting production and that's obviously had a significant impact on oil price which we'll look at in a moment us futures are mixed in early trading the nasdaq's underperforming asian indices are mixed in early trading as well the asx did start off around 0.3 percent but it's actually rallied since there's up around 0.7 percent on the back of what's happening with energy stocks european equity futures are pointing to a mildly higher open and the vix is continued lower suggesting relative market calm and well below that 22 support it broke through last week the US dollar index bounced off support on Friday. It is higher in Asia today. We're seeing gold pull back and trade mid-range. Copper is also range-bound. And on the back of that, OPEC news all has spiked over 5% in Asian trading so far. Bitcoin has stayed within that short-term range, around about 28,000, up slightly in Asia so far. It is jobs week in the US with the non-farm payrolls on Friday. Today, we've got global PMI due across the board. Manufacturing data out of Australia and Japan has both risen today. We've got UK, European and US numbers out later. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX, we started to cover zero last week. And you see it's breached that key level at 90 that we talked about. And trading towards the highs of the day, we've got a price target now of around about 97 on this. As the buying pressure continues, looking very positive going forward. Uh, we're going to look at what's happening in oil, not surprisingly. There is that massive gap up in excess of 5% on the UKO USD, the Brent crude contract this morning. This is the key level here at around about 96.85. If it breaches that, it's going to precipitate some more buying pressure. But if we look at the short term chart, you can see what happened. There's the massive gap, a little bit of initial profit taken, and it'll be interesting to see where this goes to next. One to keep an eye on without a doubt. And of course, all stocks are also beneficiaries of this. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.